Thurston County has got some really beautiful areas in it. You can see why people live near the rivers. I much prefer to be out here than being in the office. Over the last 30 years, I've seen a lot of changes in Thurston County. Few rivers I've seen increase. We had a flood in 2007. Two years later, parts of that basin was higher. Both natural changes and new construction change flood risk, which is why it's important for communities to revisit their flood maps from time to time. But what information goes into these maps? The short answer is lots of scientific and technical data. Engineers and experts from all disciplines of earth science collect, measure, and analyze data for the maps. It starts with building a 3D map using LiDAR technology. LiDAR works by sending a pulse of light from the plane to the ground, and it will measure the distance by the time it takes to hit the object to come back. The LiDAR data that we're collecting generates a topographical map with incredible details. What we're really looking for is different erosion patterns and different flooding patterns that we might be able to see from the changes in the topographical data that we collect from year to year. This 3D map provides important data for the flood map, but there are also engineers and scientists working on the ground to collect hydrologic and hydraulic data to input and create hydraulic models. Hydrology is the development of how much water is coming through the river, and hydraulic or hydraulic engineering is where is that water going to go and how deep is it going to be? We need to know how much capacity the river has, how much water it can carry at different flow levels. So in order to do that, we need to have more detail about how the bottom of the river varies. So we go out with our survey equipment and take measurements at different points in the channel. It's important to compile the best and most accurate data available. Of course, those who live in an area know it best. So FEMA works with local experts before combining all this data into a model that ultimately becomes the new or updated flood map. As technologies have changed, we've developed some very high quality, highly detailed flood maps. We can take a computer mouse and hover over your house and I can tell you how deep that water is. These maps really give us a better idea of what that extent of flooding is going to be when it happens to us. Learn more about how flood maps are developed at fema.gov mitigation.